Uh, hi, I'm Yuvi. Uh, so for this hack night, I wanted to build something that I'll actually complete, uh, which seems to for like years because I bought like the domain. Uh, it is rather simple. Uh, it essentially lets you pick a city and gives you a list of uh, all the tech events happening in that city as a calendar, um, which is literally Google Calendar here. Uh, and uh, then I or someone who would want to help me would probably trawl around uh, the various websites and mailing lists of such groups in the city uh, and add them here myself. Um, so this is like not a technological marvel. It's just a simple HTML page. It doesn't even have any JavaScript, uh, which just embeds a Google uh, calendar in the middle. Um, and that is all there is for it. And currently it's useless. Uh, but I think this is something that would be useful, not just for me, but for a little bit of other people as well, if I can populate this and keep this up to date. Uh, and because it's Google Calendar, it is, uh, it's got crowdsourcing built into it, right? I just have to share the calendar with someone uh, and then they can also help me keep it up to date. Uh, eventually, I plan on replacing the current uh, Google Calendar uh, embed with uh, a prettier one that is based on uh, like, you know, just read the data from the API and then like format it myself. And also, if you look at it there, I've also gotten a Twitter account, which should uh, automatically be able to tweet uh, all the current, I mean, all the events as they come up like a day before or a week before essentially nagging you. So you don't forget. Uh, and I, uh, I'll also probably add an email feature so that you can say, remind me a week before or remind me a day before or something of that sort. Uh, the reason, I mean, like I, I really like going to events, but, uh, I've not gone to enough of them in the last few months and, uh, having something like this would very probably help me. Any questions? So have you looked at what you could use to uh, display those events? So yeah, uh, one, one of the questions actually, I'm going to consider Lanyard as a data source. Right. And just pull events from Lanyard. Yeah. So uh, I actually did that. So the first time, I, first thing obviously, because uh, I thought was, okay, fine, I'll just use Lanyard. And then I went to Lanyard, which was a problem. Uh, so if you look at this, this is the list of events that they had yesterday as uh, what you can get in, in um, pre pretty much for their entire thing. And if you look at it, most of it is utter shit. Uh, it's corporate quiz on big data going on for 15 days, a test event, like WWD Monday night draw live stream. So this is not really usable in any form or way. Uh, and plus they are like a startup which needs a revenue stream. So obviously they will have to do some things to keep them things running. Well, this is just like a guy with an HTML page. So obviously you might have a better chance. So that is the problem with Lanyard and that's why I'm not using Lanyard. Okay. What about submissions? Can you take submissions? Uh, yeah. So right now I am opening submissions by saying like, Hey, want to add your event here? Email you at gmail.com. Uh, very low tech. This entire thing is completely low tech. Uh, like even the tweet, there is nothing automatic. When I add an event, I go and tweet it myself. Mm -hmm. uh, so obviously this will be automated eventually, but That sounds exactly yeah, exactly, exactly the, the same as so what this is. Lovely, for instance, also um, has his own rules for what yeah. events he lists. So yeah. his uh, his policy is that he will not list a paid event. No, uh, he does. Now he does because now he's gotten the, the, the idea that the paid event is still a community event. Uh -huh. But uh, we had to go and convince him when the first time we did an event in Pune. <laughs> Tell him that you know, uh, just because we're charging for entry doesn't mean that it's a commercial event. It's just to pay for lunch. Uh -huh. And so uh, they're not quizzes, they are tech events and quiz exactly. events. So that that's that brings up this question. Uh, um, at what point do you say this event is not worth listing? What is your criteria? 
writer is your judgment, but I'm going to lay down rules and say that this is your broad criteria for deciding what's going to be there and what's not. Possibly, at some point in the future. It essentially, I think right now the criteria is like uh, forgetting about the fact that there are some uh, technical topics I'm not interested in. Would this be an event I would enjoy going to? Uh, I realize that's very ambiguous and possibly useless to a lot of people, but fine. Obviously, it will grow and maybe solidify later in time. So, as long as um, your choice of events is something that a lot of people are interested in, so it's pretty much, yeah. Good like that's the point of a curator, right? Like yeah. so that it's your calendar and people subscribe to it. The what? It's your calendar and people subscribe to it. Uh, yeah, right. So far, uh, but I, I mean, I'm not going to. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm hoping that the calendar embed goes away at some point. I checked out the Google uh, Calendar APIs. They seem pretty reasonably easy enough for me. Calendar thing. I mean, not this monstrosity, but something slightly better. But obviously, that is like the primary challenge for this is not technical, but actually getting content in and getting people to it. Uh, so, yeah. Right. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping me.